In this video, I'll show you how to open and review the various reports in Estimator Express. I'll demonstrate how to edit reports by adding and removing data fields. I'll also talk you through printing and exporting reports. Before opening your reports, it's a good idea to set up the build program. Once you've done that, the job start date and the build phase start dates and durations will filter through to your reports. Click Outputs on the Navigator to navigate to the list of reports. You'll see the list of data reports on the right of the screen. Scroll down to see the full list. Let's take a look at the sales price including overhead and profit report. Click the adjacent open button to open it. If the data in any of the columns isn't displaying in full, you can auto fit the data. Click the auto fit button on the ribbon at the top of the screen. Cast your eye over the report. If you're happy with the report as it is and are ready to print, click the print button on the ribbon at the top of the screen. The print preview opens up. Click the page setup button if you want to alter the paper size, orientation or margins. By default, all reports are set to print to A4. If you change the orientation to portrait, Estimator Express will automatically rescale the report to fit the page. You can also change the scale manually if you need to by clicking the scale button. Enter a percentage to scale the report by or use the option to fit the report to a page width. I'm going to revert to the landscape orientation for now. Once you're happy with the preview of the report, click print. Now let's take a look at a more complex report. Click the close button at the top right of the window to close the print preview. Another way of opening a report is to click the report name on the navigator. I'm going to open up the material order schedule now. Click once to open the report. Now for a bit of theory about how the reports work. All of the reports are pivot grid reports. They're divided into different areas. On the left hand side of the report is the row area. All of these columns here are in the row area. You can remove any fields you don't need from the row area by clicking and holding down the left mouse button on the row header, in this case the item used for column, and dragging the field to the top of the screen until the red delete icon appears. Now release the left mouse button. You can see that as you remove the fields from the report, the row area of the field list on the right hand side of the screen is updated accordingly. Once you become more familiar with the reports, you can edit them by dragging fields on and off the different areas of the field list. On the right hand side of the report is the data area. These columns here are in the data area. I'm going to remove some of the quantity and cost columns from the data area, so I'm left with just the resource quantity, including wastage, altering order quantity, and the equivalent cost column, resource cost, including wastage, altering order quantity. To remove columns from the data area, Drag the field names from the data header area, which is located at the top left of the report. So I'm going to remove the resource quantity excluding wastage, the resource wastage quantity altering order quantity. So I'm just left with resource quantity including wastage altering order quantity. Again, you'll see that as you remove the fields from the report, the data area of the field list is updated to reflect the report. You can also remove the fields from the report by dragging them off the field list into the hidden fields area. Aside from removing fields, there are other ways in which you can edit the reports. For example, you can expand or minimise the rows using the arrows. So you can see here I've minimised the footings row. Click again to expand it. You can also show or hide the totals for each field. On the ribbon at the top of the screen, tick or untick the pivot grid options as appropriate. For example, click show row totals to show the totals for each row. You can also filter items within a field. Say I wanted to only show a selection of build phases within the report. Hover your cursor over the row header and a funnel icon appears. Then click the left mouse button. Tick or untick the tick boxes to show the items you want in the report. The 
report is updated accordingly. Of course, you can also add data fields to your report using the field categories at the top of the field list. Click and hold down the left mouse button on the field you want to add to the report. Then drag it onto the area of the report where you want to add the field. When arrows appear indicating that the column will be inserted where you want it, release the left mouse button. I'm going to use this date required field rather than the order by date. So I'll remove the order by date by dragging it off the report. Click and hold down the row header and drag it off the report to the top. So now the report is organised by the date each item is required. You can also add fields to the report by dragging them into the different areas at the bottom of the field list. For example, if I remove the date required field from the row area of the report, I can add it back in again by dragging the date required field into the row area of the field list. The blue arrows indicate where the field is going to be placed. Release the left mouse button to drop the field in that position. So you can add fields to the report in either way. As you become more comfortable manipulating the reports, using the field list is a quicker way of working as you don't have to move the mouse so far. Once you've finished editing your report, you can print it by clicking print. Alternatively, you can export it by clicking the export button and selecting a file type from the drop down menu. For example, you might want to export a report into Excel or as a PDF to send to a merchant or contractor. I'm going to export as an Excel file this time. Check you're happy with the file location and name and then click save. The Excel spreadsheet will open up automatically. You can then edit it in the usual way using the tools in Excel. Returning to Estimator Express, if at any point you decide you need to reset the report to its original contents and format, you can do so by clicking the Restore Report button. Then click Yes to the dialog box asking if you want to overwrite the current report. So that's how to edit the various data reports in Estimator Express. Navigate to the outputs on the navigator to view the list of data reports. Click Open adjacent to the report that you want to open. Remove fields from a report by dragging the field headers off the top of the report. Add fields to the report by dragging field headers from the field list onto the report. Drop them onto the row area of the report or onto the data headers area to display them as a column in the data area. Print or export your report by clicking the relevant button on the ribbon at the top of the screen. Over to you.